Hello everybody, it's me. I have not been with you guys since the end of May, oh my gosh. Um, as you can see, we have not moved yet. These are boxes waiting to be filled. Um, so Jimmy should be home soon. He's currently at his parents' house eating. I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been experiencing the past three weeks. And I'm so happy to share this with you guys because I am so in love. I'm so in love with who? Me. Me. I finally love me. Lisa. Riley, whoever you want to call me. I'll get to that in a second. It's me. I finally love me. For those of you that are watching that have no idea what it's like to struggle with mental health and body issues, you're not going to understand this video at all. Maybe you can watch it. Maybe you can try to understand. Maybe you just want to hear what I have to say. Maybe you know exactly what I'm going through because you've been there. There's a Zoe behind me. <laughs> That's my baby girl. My gosh, I love her. After my hysterectomy, I really lost who I was. I did not know what gender I was. I woke up one morning, put two bras on to make my boobs as small as I could, put on Jimmy's shirt, walked out and said, hi, I'm Riley. And he goes, hi, I'm James. Nice to meet you. That was it. That day I was Riley. Some mornings I wake up, Ben, he's like, who are we today? Now he just goes with it because my husband just loves me and he doesn't care. He just wants me to be happy. The past three weeks, I've had to face that. I've had to face a lot of it. My hormones, going nuts. My hips, in lots of pain. Nobody warns you about your hormones going crazy after hysterectomy. They say they might, but they don't tell you how extreme because everybody's different. Everybody recovers differently. Everybody his body adapts to surgeries differently. Some people go back to work within a few days. Some people like myself took a few weeks to recover. And that's okay. Doctors say, science says, you know, they all say, everybody's different. So that's okay. I just wish that somebody had warned me about my hormonal changes that were going to happen. But the past three weeks, I feel I've opened up to me. And I've opened up to them. And it has been so incredibly humbling and a huge shock to hear somebody else say that I'm beautiful or that I'm pretty or wow that color looks amazing on you you know how hard it is to pay compliments I mean I'm sure you do um I feel like that's human nature to be like oh stop you know whatever <sighs> I've really had to look I find out why I hated my body why was I so uncomfortable in my skin why and then whenever I put the pieces together it all made sense I have great legs did you know that I have great legs did you know that I hated my legs growing up because my father called me thunder thighs. Wanted to keep them things covered. I remember Matt absolutely loving my legs and I was like, you're crazy. Jimmy, my husband, loves my legs. One of my friends was like, I've never seen you in a dress. So I sent him a picture of me in a dress and he was like, Lisa, those legs, where did they come from? I'm like, I don't know, I hate them. But why? So it's like, I had to do a lot of deep diving into why I hated my body so much. So I've done a lot of exploring, done a lot of embracing. And I've done a lot of things that, like, I can't believe I've done. Um, Jimmy actually took a picture of me on Friday night. And <sighs> that picture is so risque. There's no nudity. Not at all whatsoever. You see more whenever I'm in my bathing suit. But the look on my face is, like, sheer happiness. And whenever I tell you that I have not seen myself look that way other than at Disney World... I was flabbergasted. I sent that picture to Rebecca today. Yeah, today. Rebecca was today, right? Yeah. Um, and she goes, Lisa, you are so giddy in this picture. Like you are legitimately and genuinely just so giddy in this picture. Like you can't fake that giddiness. Like you, you just can't. Y'all, I love that picture. Like that picture of me, holy crap. But these conversations and stuff, oh, I'm sorry, baby girl, that I have been having with these people about our bodies and how we you know going back and forth about like oh well I don't like this thing about me you know like they would tell me this and whatever and I'm just like you're crazy you know like you're beautiful and <sighs> past few weeks I've just been just like man my best friends are like freaking hot like my best friends they're freaking gorgeous and you know I really feel like as women we really should be <laughs> hi Zoe um bringing each other up you know so if you ever want to if you need a friend that will cheer you up I'm that friend um but you guys Accepting myself has been hard. I mean, I've gone from one extreme to the other with my weight. Um, you know, finally 
settling into my sexuality and my womanhood and finally, finally feeling like that I am a woman and finally feeling like that. What are you doing? What? You don't like the rain? You know, there's a storm coming through. Still, still rain. You know, but it's been so nice just like embracing this, you know, and accepting the fact that, yeah, I'm a plus size woman and you know what? That's okay. I've got boobs. That's okay. Actually, my boobs are great and they're all natural. Women pay to have boobs actually smaller than mine, but you know, they're great. They're there. Um, I'm still getting used to them, but you know, I'm about to have a birthday next month and in like 20 something days. And y'all, I'm excited because these last two years of my thirties are just going to be amazing. They really are. They are going to be so much fun. And I am so looking forward to turning 40 because the forties are going to be like the best time of my life. I just know it. Um, they're just going, I'm going to rock them. So for these next two years that I have left in my thirties, I'm just going to live my life so happily and so contently with my body. Now that I've found this new sense of self and a, this new sense of womanhood and just being able to embrace who I am and love who I am and 100% truly be unapologetically myself. I'm, my heart is racing right now. I wish you guys could tell how shaky I am because I am like, Ugh, I don't talk about this type of stuff. This, these past three weeks have been a crazy journey. You know, learning things about myself, embracing things, getting stuffed animals that look like body parts. Like this is Moni, my uterus. Since I don't have one. Like she even has a... <laughs> I have Volvolina ballerina. It's a vulva. The I heart guts, by the way, they come with awesome educational things because they're made for doctor's offices. I also have Mary Mamory and she's a breast. Love these things. Love them. I also have uh, the male body parts as well. Peter, that's what his name is. Um, he's adorable. He's so cute. Um, so, you know, I understand. I'm, I'm just a weird person. I have blue hair. I have tattoos. I have gauges. I'm not a normal person. But you know what I am? I'm finally happy and I finally love who I am and I can finally look in the mirror and be like, you know what? We're going with it. This is what God gave me. This is what I'm working with. I'm going to live it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to conquer it. I'm going to just love the crap out of my body. I mean, and that's what we should do because realizing that I am worthy to be loved and that I deserve to be loved and that I am capable of loving. Oh my goodness. What a journey these past three weeks have been learning to love myself and finally just letting go of all of the crap that's been thrown at me. Just finally being able to be like, I want to be free. When was the last time that you felt free? When was the last time you felt genuinely beautiful, both inside and out? When was it? Do you feel like you're worthy to be loved? Because you are. Do you feel like nobody loves you? Because they do. You might not think it. You might not feel it. I love you. I need you. The world needs you. The world needs your whatever it is that you're bringing to the table. Whether you are a crafter, whether you like to draw, whether you like to play video games, whatever it is that you are passionate about, the world needs you. The world needs your bright, weird beacon. So that way other weirdos like you can find us, can find you. My weirdo light shines so bright. I mean, hello, do you see this hair? I can't freaking miss it. And if I don't have hair, my bald, shiny head's gonna give it away. You know, or maybe you're just a normal girl next door, boy next door, and you're just normal and you don't have any mental health issues or body issues or anything like that or you've never been abused or anything I want you to consider yourself very fortunate if you've never experienced any of this I really truly want you to feel absolutely fortunate and very thankful that you've never had to go through any of this because I don't wish it on anybody I really don't this has finding yourself I wish upon I wish that on everybody because finding yourself and loving yourself is something that the world cannot take away from you and it's a journey and it's one that I hope everybody takes and loving yourself is also gonna help you to love other people. And it's gonna open up your heart and your mind to other things and other people. So know that I love you no matter who you are, no matter what color you are, no matter what race you are, whatever gender you are. You know, I've had a lot of really great friends that have really shown up for me the past three weeks. I'm not going to name them because they know who they are. I'm also not gonna cry. I'm not, not gonna cry, not. So thank you to those friends. Thank you for showing me that love and helping me to overcome so much and helping me to finally put the past in the past. Thank you. For those that are watching, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this. I'm sorry it's so long. I'm going to speed it up. I know. Hopefully the next time that you guys see us, we'll be moving or already moved 
If not, our birthdays are coming up. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna go now. Sounds like it's storming out again. I'm gonna turn on some music. Maybe pack. Since Jimmy's still not home, I just need to be home by seven. So hopefully we'll be home soon. I also didn't eat dinner because I need to go grocery shop. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry this video is so long and that it's been kind of everywhere, but love yourself, seriously. Know that I love you and that you matter, and that you are awesome, that you are worthy and you are beautiful and you are amazing just the way you are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.